Hello, friends and family. Welcome to Come Sit at My Table. My name's Tom. My wife, Melissa, is behind the camera today. A few weeks ago, we posted a video, and in the comments section of that video, we had a request from a subscriber named Bob M for a sweet potato casserole recipe. Now, this is a recipe that I have been making for probably 40 years or more. It's an old recipe. It's very simple. It's a very easy sweet potato casserole, but it is absolutely delicious. So let me show you what you're going to need to make sweet potato casserole. There are actually two separate lists of ingredients because we have the casserole itself and then we have the topping. First, you're going to need a two and a half pound can of yams or sweet potatoes. It doesn't matter which one you use. Yeah, they are a little different. They're not the exact same thing, but even though this says cut sweet potatoes in syrup, but honestly, I can't tell the difference. So a two and a half pound or 40 ounce can of yams or sweet potatoes. You're also going to need a one third cup of sugar, just white sugar. You're going to need one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now, I really like this clear vanilla that we get from our local um, Mennonite store, but any vanilla extract will work. You need two whole eggs, and you need one stick of butter. Now, Melissa and I do not use margarine. We only use real butter. So I would encourage you to use real butter. It does make a difference in the taste, but that of course is up to you. This is really simple. You just drain and dump in your can of sweet potatoes. And you had already drained them, right? I had already drained them. I opened them and drained them because I didn't figure you wanted me to waste time on the video opening them and draining them. So that was already done. And by the way, we have also already heated our oven to 350 degrees. It's already heated and ready to go and I have already sprayed our eight by eight inch baking dish. Now we just put in the sugar. We put in the two eggs. We'll also add our vanilla. And a tablespoon sounds like a lot of vanilla, but I promise you, it's not. It's exactly what you need. So one tablespoon of vanilla, and then your stick of softened butter. Now, just make sure your butter is soft. If you don't have a stick that is already out on your counter, just stick it in your microwave for I don't know, seven seconds, eight seconds, 10 seconds. You don't want it to melt. You just want it kind of at room temperature. You want it soft so it'll mix up well. You're still going to end up with some lumps of butter in your mixture, and that's okay. Those will melt during baking, but you don't want firm butter. Um, if you have butter that's in the refrigerator and you don't want to soften it in the microwave, there's a really cool trick that you can use. Take a glass, a glass glass, not a plastic glass, but a, a glass, and run hot water in it, as hot as you can get from your tap, and let that hot water just run in that cup for a minute. Let it sit for a minute or so, so the glass is really hot. Then just stand your stick of butter up on the end and put your glass down over it and let it sit there for two or three minutes. The heat from the inside of that glass will soften your butter. Now you don't wanna leave it too long, it might melt it, but that's an easy way to soften your butter if you don't have it already softened. Melissa and I do not refrigerate our butter. We have not refrigerated our butter our entire married lives. We, um, we leave at least two or three sticks out on our countertop. If we buy it in bulk, which we usually do at Costco, we just, we freeze part of it, 
we put a little bit in the refrigerator, but every time we use a stick that's out on our counter, we put another one out in its place. We always have at least two, usually three sticks out on our counter at a time. And we're just going to let this mix, make sure that the um, sweet potatoes or the yams get broken up really well. You don't want any big pieces of those in your casserole. And you want your butter broken up as well as you can get it. But you're going to have chunks of butter in your in your uh, mixer. Now let me scrape this off and then you can look at and do this backhanded because I'm left-handed. So let me try to get this all off of here. You do want to scrape your beater really well. You've paid for that sweet potato mixture. So you want to eat it. You don't want it to go down the drain. I'm a scraper. I believe in getting it all off there if I can. Sometimes you can't get every speck of it, but you get most of it. All right, can you see down here how there are still some chunks of butter? See here, it didn't completely mix up, and that's okay. That's because your other ingredients were a little cold, and so they just kept your butter from... And you don't want your butter melted. You uh, you want it like this. You can see there are just some pieces in there. And trust me, those will melt and they will be really good in this casserole. So I have an eight inch square baking dish and I have sprayed it really well with nonstick spray. And we're just going to dump our casserole right in there. And yes, we're going to scrape it all out. Get it all in there. Now, we'll just smooth it out a little bit. Now, that's the first part of your sweet potato casserole. But nobody wants to eat a sweet potato casserole like this. The best part is still to come. And it's the topping. So here's how you make the topping. You're going to need one cup of brown sugar. Now, I almost always buy light brown sugar. But if all you have is dark brown sugar, that's fine. I just prefer light. You need one third cup of flour. And I'm using all purpose. You need one third cup of butter. Now, if you're... Measuring it by tablespoons, that's about five and a half tablespoons. But it's just, it's roughly a third of a cup. You know, if you're a little over, a little under, it's not going to hurt anything. But about five and a half tablespoons. And then you need one cup of broken pecan pieces. I have not ground these up like I would do if I was doing a cheese log or a cheese ball. Um, I've just broken them into pieces. I, I took a whole pecan, broke it in half, and then in half again. So some of them were really big. I broke into six pieces, but you just want to break them up a little bit. So in a large bowl, we're going to put our brown sugar, our flour, and our butter. And I'm going to start with those three ingredients, and I will just kind of work those together in there. I'll just... You can see that my butter is soft, and I will just kind of work it into my flour and my brown sugar. When you get finished, it will, it won't look like sand, but it will be in um, just, you know, small pieces like that. So you just have to keep working it, get it all mixed in until it's ready to put on top. This is such a good dish. It goes with just about anything. Um, it's really good with ham. It's good with any kind of pork, pork chops, 
pork tenderloin. It's really good with chicken and turkey. Um, we've even had it with beef. It, you know, we've served it with steak before. And that many steakhouses will serve a baked potato. Sure, or give baked, you the choice. sweet potato. Yes, a baked potato or a baked sweet potato is what I'm right. saying. Right, and you know, this is kind of like a baked sweet potato <laughs> that's topped with butter and sugar. Um, you know, my dad passed away back in July of 2022, and occasionally he would come eat with us. My mom had been gone for several years, and he would come eat with us. And anytime I had <laughs> this sweet potato casserole, he would not eat it with his meal. You remember that? He always claimed it was his dessert. Yeah. Even if we had dessert, this is what he wanted yeah. for dessert. We would clean off the table. And I would say, now, let us clean the table off real quick and we'll get dessert. And he'd say, don't you move that sweet potato casserole. That's my dessert. I'm having that. And it is sweet. It's, it's kind of like a dessert, but it really is a side dish. But I never, I will never make this again without thinking about him and how he loved this for his dessert when we would serve it. He was a big fan of sweet potatoes. Loved sweet potatoes, didn't he? Yeah, he sure did. I, I don't know of a way you could fix sweet potatoes that he didn't like them. And honestly, what's not to like? It's a potato, it's sweet, and you know, it's they're full of vitamins, they're good for you. Well, <laughs> so maybe not, this way. maybe not if you top them with brown sugar and butter, but. They're still good, they're good for you. All right, I'm just gonna tell you, the easiest way to do this is with my fingers. I've used that fork all I'm going to. Just mash it together. Make sure that butter's all worked in. See how much easier that is. Folks, listen. Wash your hands, and don't be afraid to get your fingers in your food. Humans use their fingers and hands a whole lot before we ever discovered utensils. So, don't be afraid to get in there and use your fingers. Play in your food a little bit. All right, I think that's pretty good. Now, you can see... That's kind of like wet sand. Look at that. See how it kind of sticks together when you press it, but then it just kind of falls apart. So just get in there and work that butter in. Now, we're just going to take this and sprinkle it right on top. Yes, there's going to be a thick layer. That's exactly what you want. You want it covered well. And when you get it all on there, if you got a spot or two that doesn't have enough, move some around. Put it all in. And just spread it out. Make sure everybody, because nobody wants to get a bite of sweet potato casserole without some of this topping. Woo! It is delicious. Melissa and I are actually, we've already eaten today. We met some friends for Mexican food. But we're making this for our dinner tomorrow. So, we will be eating this later. All right, that's it. What about your pecans? Oh, 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 I forgot my pecans. I was supposed to stir those in there. You know what? It won't matter. I'll just put them right on there. Oh, they were supposed to be stirred? They were. They were supposed to go in with the brown sugar after I got it mixed up. You know what? That's not going to hurt anything. You just put them on and stir them down in there. And you definitely want those pecans. That gives it a little crunch. Okay. We're going to put this into the oven. It goes in at 350 degrees for how long? I think you told me 30 to 40 minutes. I think it is. Let me look just to make sure. Um, yes, 30 to 45 minutes. So 
I will get this in the oven and when it's finished baking, we will come back and I'll sample some for you. Might even get Melissa to sample some. I might have to twist her arm really hard <laughs> to make her do it. But we'll be back as soon as it bakes. Our sweet potato casserole has been in the oven for almost 45 minutes. So let's take it out. Nice that looks. Now you can see that it is really hot and bubbly. It needs to sit for at least 10 to 15 minutes before we dish it up and serve it. And actually we're not going to have it until tomorrow. So I will let it cool completely this evening before we cover it and refrigerate it. And I'll just tell you, I like it cold right out of the refrigerator. It doesn't even have to be heated for me. But we will reheat it tomorrow on our plates before we eat it. I am going to scoop out some just so you can see, but it won't look like this after you let it cool. It will be a little firmer and it will hold together better, but still, it's not bad. There you can see the texture. See how moist it is. That topping is just really sweet and flavorful. And I hope I don't burn the top layer of skin off my mouth tasting this. Do you remember when your kids were little? <laughs> you blew we on always everything blew for on them. them. <laughs> we did, didn't we? When our girls were small, I blew on every hot food we had. Because I didn't want them to burn their mouth and I don't want to burn my mouth now. It's hot. Mm. That is so good. Babe, I would give you a bite, but this is really hot. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a little bite after a while when it cools down yeah. a little bit. Then we'll have it for dinner tomorrow. Man, that is good. I can see why my dad always saved it for dessert. It is so good. It's sweet. You've got a little bit of sugar in the sweet potatoes. And then you've got that brown sugar on top. So it is sweet. Man, that's good. Mm. Delicious. All right. If you would, click the thumbs up so we know you liked our video. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button and the little notification bell beside of it. Please share our video with your family and friends and let them know about our channel. And remember, you are always welcome to come sit at my table. Have a great day.